Madam and Mr. Speakers, uh, be first, I'll, firstly I'll be dealing with the rebuttals and then I'll be moving to the clash points that I found in the debate. Then finally I'll uh, state to you why our side of the house has the case. Now our opposition, our proposition side, uh, talked about um, how um, the, uh, the uh, how the concept of not making it compulsory would be problematic for poor women. But in the opening side, they already answered the problem about how NGOs and INGOs would back up the government to make it compulsory. Why not make? Why not free the government the burden of the whole idea and make the NGOs and INGOs directly contact with the women itself? Why cannot we do that? Why government has other structural problems in the society that it needs to take care of? For example, we have got social injustice taking place. We've got the problems of literacy we've got the problems of uneducation taking place we've got the problems of no sir i'll be answering you at the end of my uh, when i finish my case and uh, we have got problems about racial discrimination we've got so many injustice in the society lgbti movements and etc when the government start focusing on things that can well be handled by other things that already exist in the society why why are ngos and ingos there in the initial place they are to help the people directly so that the government does not get the burden. So that answers our uh, that answers the question that you are stand. That answers our burden. We proved it very well. Now the another question about I'm how. Uh, no, <laughs> later. <laughs> Um, uh, how they talked about, how they did talk about how making it compulsory wouldn't lead to a slippery slope. We consistently put the put this burden on them, but they never elaborated on the point how it wouldn't turn to business and how our side of the house very well elaborated on how it would well turn into a business. Okay, for example, I give you a choice. No, if you have a staircase leading up to the second floor, or if you have a elevator going there, which one would you choose? Obviously, the elevator. So this is my, this is where I like to uh, establish the context of my case. Yes, there would be service. Yes, I would applaud the government for bringing this technology in hand. But I like to tell you the fact that when you're giving this technology, you're not just limiting it to the people who just require it. You're giving it for everyone who wants it, even the people who require it or not. So when you're giving them the choice of um, making, of getting nine months of free time or getting nine months of um, uh, of time period free from any pain or anything, obviously they're going to choose the easy time way time out. Time. And that was what my government, that was what my opposition yeah. member time based her case now. upon, which was not very well taken what by the government, uh, the government side, which was not very well understood by the government side. Thank I'll take both of your POIs in a second, please. Now our burdens upon them is how firstly our burdens would be how will you ensure that only poor and deserving deserving ones who cannot afford it get it how 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 do you ensure that how do you ensure that the only the diseased ones are only the ones who are actually uh, in need of it get it and not the other ones not the majority of the people you cannot ignore you cannot just focus on the minority and ignore the majority but when our side of the house is providing a policy that would present very well both with the majority as well as the minority now secondly where do you draw the line about how it won't turn to a business for a woman but who want to who want it but are perfectly capable of giving birth to it without it how do you draw the lines these were our two burdens that was not answered at all by the uh, by both the uh, houses now what the measure now I'll be moving to the clash points of the debate first clash point was about no the first clash points was how economic uh, about economic disparity versus economic unstability of the country second was about the choice of the mother versus the choice of the baby and thirdly benefits of making it compulsory versus risk of exploitation both on the finances level as well as both on the measure of turning into a la la laziness thing is, is the whole so now i'd like to elaborate on it opening side of the houses mainly focused about how it, it would place a big economic burden on the government how it would how the finances would be the only answer to with everything how we should only deal about finances how ironic of them to talk to stand in a, a building that deals with technology and yeah. still no wait a minute sir and still talk it's still not understand the essence of technology essence 
sense of why we have the whole idea of ectogenesis in the whole. We have ectogenesis to help That's people who need it. Ectogenesis is people who require it, not for people who want to have an easy way out. And how my, uh, I, as my government member already elaborated on the points about different aspects to it, how the opening houses as well as the, both the closing house completely failed to ignore the fact about what the baby would have, the uh, what the, what impact would ha would it have on the baby. We're not talking about how we're not ta we're not here to argue about ectogenesis. I agree, but what I what I am talking about is the majority of the people who exploit the facility and the baby being born out of the result. We're talking Before about that. Yes. Please. First and foremost, why we said government was because the human resources that are essential for the progress and development of a government. Oh, yeah, okay. yes, 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 Thank you so much. Yes, that was what, uh, thank you for reminding me. How ironic of him to compare a human to a technology. That was, I, I wanted to talk about that very earlier. He is consistently comparing about how a mother is giving rise to a human resource. Isn't that like, isn't that, uh, he's, he's talking about it as if um, the whole mother is doing um, a favor to the society. Yes, and the whole of uh, the initial house, there was also a talk about feminism versus women empowerment and how our side of the house very well elaborated that how this would hamper feminism in the long run because it would make women rely on the technology more than to serve the, their original biological purpose of the whole idea. Women were created to have babies, women were created to have, to, women were created in the very essence to bear babies and for the women who do not have the capability to do so we have got NGOs and INGOs serving to you and there is by no way uh, a requirement for making governments for making it compulsory for the government to uh, fund the women who want access to it there are other well other other institutions as well as other uh, facilities who cater to that as well saying this I rest my case and I assure you I've never been proud to present this case